Uh, thank you, Munchie Boo. Thank you, Critic I appreciate that. All right, let us continue. People leave. I'll let the door hit you in the ass on the way out. Thank you. All right, so we just got to the capital. Uh, that was earlier today. We have two golden seeds. Uh, let's go down here. People stay. People arrive. People leave. People arrive. Elden Ring glow stick percent. Peepo dung eater. <laughs> there actually was today on the news. There was a news thing and it was uh, feces eating cult ringleader caught. And I went into the comment section just to read. I didn't I didn't comment or anything. I went into there to the comment section just looking for somebody who would say the loathsome dung eater. <laughs> and sure enough, there it was. There it was. Some kind of some kind of feces eating cult. I don't know. I just went to find that comment and I found it. That <laughs> wasn't I wasn't disappointed. Yeah, there it is. That was a setup. Uh John Yanni. Thank you for the five months. Thank you, John Yanni. That's crazy, yeah. Well it's it's not that's not funny, but uh Obviously, the amount. Where was this? In Thailand? I said, is that where it was? In Thailand? Ah, shit. Did somebody pay to go back to Elden Ring? No, but I could tell they were, they were about to. I could totally tell. It's coming. Or thank you so much for going back to Elden Ring. It's coming any minute now. And that the loathsome glow raver. <laughs> hey, there you go. That's ten bucks more than Mario was making me. Elden Ring people happy. Uh, Lamanche, thank you for the one thousand bits. Thank you, Lamanche. Appreciate it. All right, let's go back up here, and uh, let's go this way. You can go put glow sticks in the freezer to save them. Oh, can you? I mean, I do. I how often do I really need glow sticks? Is, is the question. <laughs> yeah, with, without no bullshit, the so, like for many years, actually, uh, for many years, El the Dark Souls, Bloodborne, Sekiro, like all of these games have been my escape. This is how I relax compared to Mario World ROM hacks. This, these have been my escape and my relaxation. My barb sense was tingling. Uh, thank you so much, Launch. I appreciate that. It's no bullshit. That's true. Good luck on this run. What's up, Chill Town? How are you? Yeah, I feel like playing. I felt like I didn't feel like ending stream, and I felt like playing some more uh, Eldon Ring. You are wound up tight. Mario World Romax can be very stressful. They can really be very stressful. And uh, yeah. There's less of, like, an expectation of, like, anything in a Souls game for me. So, I can just play and have fun. Open world omen. Yeah, this is a uh, open field uh, market for some reason. Um. Somebody could probably answer why there's an open world market, but uh, I think it's to us. You're supposed to assume that he's still watching us. 
And his goal is to stop us from reaching the Elden, the Elden, or the tree, right? Boy, that, that attack is so hard to dodge. Well, it kind of just looks like he just took over that dude's body, doesn't it? You, uh, fuck off here, buddy. You didn't see this in your playthrough? Yeah, he, you can kill him and you get a pretty decent... That's like a pretty good talisman for killing him, I think. That was some bullshit. That was some bullshit, too. the matrix more guys an agent you can take over the body yeah kind of right kind of like that he steamrolled him and shrugged it was weird yeah so he like took over this guy for or whatever so uh, he gives i kill him because he gives you a nice chunk of souls and I, I need all the souls i can get um and we also get the uh what is it greatly raises maximum stamina sure we'll take that too it's the smell yeah, Margot's great. Margot's great. So is Morgoth, for sure. Morgoth can be one of those bosses where you're sitting around waiting for your turn, which is a little annoying, but, uh, yeah. They went a little far in some places. They went a little far in some places with the bosses that never stop attacking. No doubt about that. They went a little far in a few places. I'm actually watching The Office right now and forgot my headphones. I miss your sultry voice. Here. There you have... Have some kisses. Have some cat kiss. Krunga. <laughs> Fucking Christmas night and storm will kick your ass for hours. Please don't do that again. I gotta add... Dude, I love cat kiss. I gotta add cat kiss. <laughs> well, I took you to lay out your arms. Be a man and put me on speaker. Alright, so we need uh, threes. We need five threes, it looks like. Five threes. Was my Deathless Dark Souls 3 run all bosses? No, I don't think it was. I don't think I did all... I don't think I did Deathless all bosses for any of the games, actually. Uh, what was it? Five threes? And I think I need five to get to 12 fours. Okay. I feel like I would be really annoyed if I was a Twitch staff member whenever I spoke in a chat and people were like, <gasps> Staff! <gasps> staff! <gasps> I feel like it would be really annoying as a staff member. <laughs> I feel like it would be fucking annoying. <gasps> Off duty cop. Uh, Bat Dance, thank you so much for the 20 months. Thank you, Bat Dance. Good luck with the run. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. I'm here because I don't want to program anymore. There you go. Uh, all right, so we're heading over. There's Draconic Tree Sentinel is, uh, to the right over here. Is there anything else we should do before then? I guess let's just keep going. Uh, do I have any? Let's take a look. I have four. I can probably get another one of these. All right, let's go do that. EG doesn't sell somber fives, right? He doesn't sell somber fives. I'm pretty sure, right? How many tries did Sekiro Deathless take? It was my second try. Uh, my first try ended to bullshit, and I didn't even I didn't even finish the second try. I got it, no problem. Oh, I like the Draconic Tree Sentinel a lot, actually. I like Draconic Tree Sentinel. The fireball input reading is a little like sometimes you get some loop where it's like fireball, 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 fireball. It's like, all right, I got it, buddy. Thanks a lot. But I like Draconic Tree Sentinel. You watch me in bald program on your other screen. If I die in Deathless Runs, it is always bullshit. No, I mean, I, it, I don't think I die. I don't think Horaloo dying to Horaloo was bullshit. I think that was just skill. I think I'm not very good at Horaloo and you know, he got me. I don't really think that was bullshit. 
I've got hair shaped like a Nintendo 64 controller. Yeah, I've heard that one before. Mm hmm. I think it was just lack of skill against Horalu. And obviously, the double halberds. When I killed Horalu on soul level one, I was using a pretty fast weapon. So fighting him with double halberds, double the double halberds are pretty slow. And using jump attacks compared to occasionally R1 is a very different thing to do. So. All right, I'm not practicing shit. No practice, just do it. Practice is useless. Oh god. <laughs> Practice is useless. Instantly dies. <laughs> Dude, stop fireballing me, asshole. The loathsome input reader. some range that attack that attack lasts forever dude is too buff you fight hating on the horse fighting on the horse sucks because this game is built around the souls games are built around being able to dodge so fighting from the horse if you get knocked off the horse the horse dies and you're going to be hit stunned forever like you can't effectively dodge anything like i don't know horse combat is not this game's strong suit for sure Able to trade torrent for that guy's horse. Do I have 17 faith for Scarlet Rot? That would be an awesome addition. I don't have 17 faith now. Orange never dodge. I assume since you're doing permadeath, you're probably going full OP build. Uh, I don't think I don't think this build is particularly OP with the double halberds. I don't feel like this is particularly OP here. <laughs> yeah, permadeath. So if I die, it's game over. If I die, it's game over. End of the run. I don't feel particularly OP. It's not Katana, River of Blood. If he dies, he dies. I mean, even if I want River of Blood, I have to get to the uh, frozen area, right? Uh, Matroid, Va Matroidvania. Thank you for the 15 months. Thank you very much. Did I kill the Kaylee dragon? No. If I die, the, the run is over. GG. Deathless. Okay, deathless then. Hmm. Uh, Phantom Fears. Thank you for the 29 months. Thank you very much. This is uh, attempt number six. 
two of the attempts ended like one fell to, like I, I died to gravity and one died if what the other one died to oh it's a boris johnson that's right that was a real those were two really fast attempts that didn't get very far uh one died to morgoth's one died to horalu so Yeah, yeah. So like some of the deaths have been a little stupid. I shall farewell. I shall leave. I wish you luck. You have I have no You win again, gravity. I walked around the corner right into a hole. That is very true. Oh yeah, the gargoyle, that's right. The gargoyle on the on the tree root that killed me here, I, I remember. I definitely remember that death. You find this area brutal for invasions in multiplayer? Three thousand souls from that guy. Leave the snowmen alone. Is it possible to finish this game deathless? I mean, people have already beaten the game hitless, so I think it's possible, yeah. I mean, I, I literally almost did it already, right? I don't even really have a route. I'm just kind of doing random things. <laughs> so. What's wrong with my weapon choice? Uh, halberds do an ass shit of damage, and I like it. Those combined factors made me choose my weapons. The Knight Rider Halberd is a new one. I, I've never used this weapon before. I'm still going to want a shield for Melania. I like this Halberd. It's a good Halberd. I think it's got a... I'm not sure, but I think it's got a, a unique moveset. Unique R1s. Thanks for the sub, loser. Uh, could you fuck off? Huh? Uh, Boss Ninja. Thank you for the tier 2 27 months. Phantom Fears. Thank you for 29 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. That's the glaive too. It's not a normal halberd. Well, what's the difference between a glaive and a halberd in this game? I don't think there is one. Is there? I did the same thing. All right, we got our old friend here. Where is he? There he is. This guy gives you a shitload of souls. Bullshit. That was bullshit too. Wow. Is a platform here in the road a platform here in the road what are you talking about yeah the lord's rune gives you a nice 50k so <sighs> are these guys typical tree types like weak to axes and fire uh yeah these guys are weak to fire for sure 
surprised I reached the crit spot. Is that about this door? This door you can just open, right? A round golden thingy. Hmm. I'm not sure. Uh, I never realized it, but the Earth Tree avatars kind of have Radagon's moveset. They do? Are you talking about the hole that leads to the sewers? It leads to the sewers after you burn the tree. Is that the hole you're talking about? All yellow magic is the same. Why not fight the Crucible Knight? There's really no point in killing him. He doesn't even give you an item. He doesn't give you shit. Hmm? They have Abyssal Demon moveset. You mean uh, Asylum Demon? Is that what you mean? Yeah, he doesn't even drop anything. He doesn't. You think he like drops his spear or something? Like maybe he drops like armor. No, he doesn't drop fucking anything. Never bother with the shortcut. Uh, I don't know why I always grab. I always grab the shortcut. You're probably right. Probably makes sense. Just not even grab it. Yeah, we got a nice hundred k. Let me go see if I can uh, go level up my weapon. I think our next boss we're heading towards is uh, Godwin. Or excuse me, Godfrey, the the golden one. Let me go see what we need. I think I need fours for the halberd. Right? Let's see. I see Gabnon. I take Gabnon. Oh, don't pay me. I just lay out here. Okay, so we need four fives and we need a five. So five, regular five and somber five. Are there somber fives in Kaled or something? I don't think I can buy any somber fives. Abyssal Demon is different from Asylum Demon. I don't think there is such a thing as Abyssal Demon. Death was modified. Yeah, I don't think we have that. Why is the status depleting? Uh, I don't know. It just does it. All right, so let's go back to East Capital Rampart. Or Capital Rampart. No, just East Capital. Okay. There's another Golden Sea that Rhea Lucaria by the Abductor Virgin. You go under the bridge that's to the left. So I missed a Golden Seed at Rhea Lucaria. Interesting. I didn't realize that. Uh, let's grab some more Endurance and uh, 40 Vigor would be nice and some more Strength. Okay. The Kaled Mining Tunnel. Tunnel. You mean, is that, are you talking about the one with all the pests in it? That one's full of fives? Give me some high fives. That tunnel is a piece of shit with all the pests in it. Gale Tunnel. Is that that one? Pest Mine has regular fives. Okay, that would help for sure. Can your RuneScape and Dark Souls confirmed? Uh, probably I Flames. Thank you very much for the gift sub. Appreciate that. You can also just grab the bell bearing from the cave outside the capital. That one lets you buy threes and fours. That doesn't let you buy fives. I need a uh, somber fives. Somber fives and regular fives, I think. Uh, Jay Nangle, thank you for, or JN Angle, thank you for the uh, brand new Twitch Prime. Thank you very much. Did you beat Morgoth? No, I haven't. Ow. What is this, like meat or something? What is this shit? Thought it was garbage. We're on our way to uh, Godfrey and Morgoth right now. The Lane All Knights kick your ass. They're they're nasty, dude. They're nasty. Whoa! I wonder if that's that arrow would have got me. I think those arrows can knock you down. Don't you go dying? I'm ever fought. Have you ever fought Godfroy? Yes, I have. Yes, I have.
Oh, that was annoying. These shield enemies probably have to land on this and they just decide to poise through whatever you're doing. Yeah, sometimes that'll happen. This thing, uh, th this, uh, Black Knight Halberd has some interesting, uh, interesting R1s. It's pretty interesting. Very different. Okay. Reminds you of fighting Black Knights. Yeah, there's some kind of in between of Silver Knight and Black Knights. Yeah, that's the attack that got me. <laughs> yeah, that's the attack. That's the one that got me. The Knight Rider Glive is sick. Yeah, it's got a S scaling on strength, right? There's some more stuff down here too. Um, okay. This is it. Dude, Rody is still, still out there. Still trying to get people to click his clips. Hmm? Briber got tired of Mario. Ah, oh, we played it. We played a good bit of Mario today. I played like I played a number of hours of it. Just felt like uh, I felt like continuing this run for a little bit. Once you get a run going, Elden Ring is super fun. It's just hard to get a run going. The beginning of it's kind of, all right, let's move it along, please. Yeah, a little bit of overtime Elven Ring. Why not? Yeah. A resident barbkivist. Miserable. No, actually, I've been having, a, I really have, no bullshit, having a great time with claustrophobia. It's so much fun. It's such a good ROM hack. I, le I legit really love claustrophobia. Yeah, honestly, though, that, that is the case raised. Like, pra practicing for a blind run of Mario levels is pretty useless. <laughs> honestly, the, honestly, that, that I, I actually believe that, but... In the end, like, who knows what those levels will be. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, let me... I think I might go back to the commander standard in my main hand and then this one and this one. See the this one doesn't have the sweeping attacks, it just has the pokey poke. Alright, we're on our way up to God Godwin or Godfrey, excuse me. Double halberds better than the mace. Uh, yeah, I think so.
sometimes he just keeps swinging and he doesn't stop. Nobody on the way in two weeks. I couldn't finish Ronnie's quest and can't upgrade my weapons anymore because I'm in no Molina Accord run. What's the lore between fighting the same boss so many times? Mo Morgoth Godfrey. Like the Lee and I misbegotten enemies. Oh. Boss defeated. All right, so we have my inventory. Now we could, before going into Morgoth, who is a pretty serious boss, uh, I wonder what talismans we could try to get too. Like there might be like a talisman we could try to get. We already have the claw talisman. Maybe like the one that heals you over time wouldn't be too bad to get. Uh, I think we'd have to get there from like here or something. It's like over here. That wouldn't be that bad. Uh, we could probably get a few more upgrades if we go ahead to get that tunnel, which is up here. Dragon Crest for defend. Yeah, but the Dragon Crest one isn't worth the risk because the, the plus the plus zero on the Dragon Crest talisman is at the bottom of that huge drop. And I'm probably going to die to gravity if I try that. So probably going to die to gravity if I try that one. Yeah, the full health damage shield isn't bad. I could probably pretty easily go get that. Probably. Okay, I think the cave is around here. Yeah, there it is. Perfect. It's right next to Godfrey. Plus one is in Hero's Grave and Altus Plateau. The uh, plus one Dragon Crest. Uh, which one is the hero's grave? Is that the one with the double crucible knights? Is that that one? But uh, how far into the cave is it? Because I don't even want to go anywhere near those caves on a deathless run. Bro, you're so lucky. Oh my god, dude. This cave is the fucking... What is with this cave? God, this cave is the worst. My god. Fuck this cave. It's a noob killer cave. You hate these bugs so much. Yeah, I hate them too. I hate them too. Yeah, there are a lot of uh, spinning stone fives in here, which is good. I think there's even more, right? If you kill this, if you kill the boss in here, what do you get anyway? Do you get the? Uh, it's like the somber ones and twos or something, right? Is that what you get? Some spinning stones. Yeah, you get a, you get a bell for killing the boss here. I don't remember what it is. You got sent here and it slaughtered you. I think a lot of people had that experience. It's a level one somber bell. That's not even useful to us. So I feel like we just get our shit and just leave. There's no point in fighting the boss here. He probably doesn't even give that many souls, honestly. Okay. I'm sort of running away from enemies in caves now. I mean, once you get better at the Souls games, you probably start to run away from a lot of enemies anyway. Because you realize how pointless fighting most of them is. <laughs> no Souls. Uh, what are you? 
Somber 4. I think we need Somber 5, but Somber 4 is pretty nice. I think we need a 5, though. I wonder, I wonder if I could easily find one. Uh, the boss here is a falling star beast. Uh, the small, a small one. It used to be actually really bad. It used to be like horrible to fight it. The reason why is, uh, he had like all of his, he had a phase two and he had all of the normal phase two attacks, but the room is so tiny. Like you can't do shit about it. It's the smallest room ever. He also gives some spinning stones. Yeah, they changed it. They, he, it used to be that his attacks would take up the entirety of the room. It was stupid, dude. They nerfed it. I don't think he goes into phase two anymore. I don't think he even does it anymore. I mean, could, is this going to give me... I, so right now I need spinning stone fives and a somber, a somber five is what I need need a somber five i don't have it does he drop it five smithing stone sixes all right let's do it let's do it nerf bosses all these runs aren't legitimate about <laughs> poor beast somber six smithing stone seven times five okay now we just had a somber five we'd be in business dude i don't know where to get a somber five though that's all we need i never fighting this dude with katanas ever again or the just for oh boss defeated there you go it was a child. This is the rapier was the single sad saddest thing ever. Did you try with a bow and arrow? <laughs> Somber five is free in Kaled. On a corpse in a chair, also one in Kaled. Okay, I think maybe I know of one. I'm not sure if it's a Somber five, but it's near the divine tower over here. There's a couple of, to of stones. One of them may be a uh, Somber five. Let's go this way. One of the worst feelings ever is having something stuck in your teeth and like you can't get it out. I guess I could like stop the stream and go floss. Probably could do that. Like man, I could fuck with it all day. Worst ever. That's why you don't eat popcorn. Oh, popcorn's the fucking worst about that, yeah. My wife actually, you know what's funny? My wife, uh, she ate popcorn and she got a piece of popcorn like lodged in her tooth like lodge in her gum or something like that and it was stuck there for like like she flosses she takes good care but it was stuck in there and i guess it got like inflamed and she thought she had like something really wrong with her she goes to the dentist like she didn't realize what it was and they're like oh it's a piece of popcorn <laughs> like she pretty much had to go to the dentist for a piece of popcorn oh huh? that sounds awful yeah that'll be ten thousand dollars yeah that was a while ago just be careful eating popcorn. Do I use wikis or everything? Uh, no, I don't use w wikis. I'll, uh, I'll ask chat and I'll usually get the wrong information a lot. Uh, a lot of stuff I remember. So that's a somber eight. Okay, that's actually really good. We're still needing a five. I use Chatopedia. I know there's some chairs down here. What do you got down here? Somber nine. I have, dude, I have, 
What do I have right now? I've got somber four. I've got somber one, three, four, six, eight, and nine. A five and a seven would be great. There's a five where I fought the last boss. Seven's the hardest to get early game. Doesn't the bug thing drop at the tunnel on the plateau? You get somber bell has plenty of fives. Uh, oh, so you're talking about uh, this tunnel up here? Sealed tunnel. We can go back in and do some more sealed tunnel. Uh, it's a little bit fucked up. I don't really go. I'm not scared of the boss whatsoever, but I am more scared of gravity, and there's some ganks in here. But uh, we can go here. I haven't killed Radon yet, so I don't have ac access to Nokrin. Yeah, we're, uh, we're doing a bit more Elder, a little bit of overtime today. Keep going in this tunnel for a minute. So the somber stones make your weapon stronger. There's it makes your weapon stronger. And uh, we want we want our damage. Morgoth's a pretty serious boss. If we're going into Morgoth, we want to be as strong as we probably can be. So yeah, this area. Uh, if you don't find any out in here, you can tie me out forever and I will give you 20 gift subs. Well, how about, uh, how about if you don't, if I don't find any in here, I'll say, oh, okay, oh, well. And I just forget the whole incident and I don't time you out at all. <laughs> just, you can still give me the 20 gift subs though. That's okay. It's not, it's not that serious. Definitely still take the gift subs though. Is that still on the table or... Did you even open it? You didn't, did you? Oh, he did. Bro, please stop. Oh my God. Stop, man. Somber five. Cool. Everybody's going to use Giza's wheel. Awful enemies. Nice. We have like a thousand souls. Now we have somber five, six. We, if we only had a seven, we could get, if we had a seven, we could get all the way to nine on the commander standard. Holy shit. I mean, at this point, we may as well keep going, right? Dude Light, thank you for the 20 gift subs. Uh, holy crap. Thank you so much. God damn it, dude. Uh, Dude Light, thank you so much, man. Holy shit. I really appreciate that. If you get a gift sub, enjoy the emotes. Thank you so much. Volcano Manor after Godskin. Yeah, I mean... 
I could start doing Volcano Manor now, I guess. Thank you so much, dude. Somber Sevens and the Sewers. Uh, are there Somber Sevens down by the Lobsters and the Sewers? Is that where they are? That area is kind of dicey to get to. Little dicey. Thank you so much, dude, Light. Two-handed jump attack is why you finished this game. Boss defeated. <laughs> the greatest button ever. <laughs> I gotta bully grandpa like that because grandpa hasn't learned to put on some pants yet. Patched in manner and super annoying to make. Yeah, yeah, I heard about that. I've, I've heard about how annoying it is to make that jump. Uh, all right, so we've got some upgrade materials here. That sound is going to carry me to the finish line. Well, I took you no match. Lay out your own. Okay, so somber five, somber six, and uh, man, if I only had one more smithing stone five, we could level up the Knight Rider glaive again. Um, but, uh, all right. I think we're probably in pretty good shape for Morgoth at this point. <sighs> probably in pretty good shape. What are those gauges that appear? They seem useless. Altus Tunnel has Somber 5. We don't need Somber 5 anymore. Now we need a Somber 7. Thanks for the sub. Hmm? Loser. Uh, Penny Lane, thank you for the 28 months. Thank you, Penny Lane. Appreciate it. Join it for Somber 7 for forever. Yeah, we just had a regular... We need a regular Smithing Stone 5 is what we need. We need a regular Smithing Stone 5. Maybe make Glaive heavy with an ash. Um, so people were telling me that there's an ash... Like, so the knife to make the Knight, the Knight Rider Glaive heavy is like here... In Stormvale somewhere, right? You know, there's actually some... Uh, hang on, I just, I'm just remembering something here. Hang on, let's go to Stormhill Shack. That's where the knife is. Uh, thank you, Penny Lane. Thank you for the tier 2, 28 months. Okay, do I have a stone sword? Uh, I have two, okay. Let's go grab... I never grabbed this one, so we're up to two. I think I need four now. Subscription. Making it heavy makes it have S scaling for uh, for strength. And I'm pretty much a strength build. We've got 33 strength. I'm not sure if it would really up the damage that much at 33 strength. Maybe like a little bit. It wouldn't do that much. Uh, City Wanderer, thank you for the 31 months. Thank you, City Wanderer. Appreciate it. Is it like around here somewhere? The the stone, the imp door. Is it around here somewhere? There's a seed at Rhea Lucaria. I'm probably not going to go for that since it's so far down. It's near the abductor. I don't know. Near the grafted scion room. It's in the building with the scion. Jump down from the rampart grace. Okay, so rampart tower. It amazes me how much this game you can just run past. Oh, there's like this huge monster this game. You can just completely ignore that even exists, right? 
A ton of the bosses are, like, some of the hardest bosses in the game are completely optional, right? So we want to go here. Jump as if you're going to the Claw Talisman. Oh, okay, so, like, up here then? Or take this elevator and go left? Oh, okay, hang on. I'm getting a lot of information. I'm trying to give subs, uh... It doesn't seem to go through. Can you see anything on your side? Uh, I haven't seen any gift subs go through. It might be maybe like your payment or something. I'm, I'm not sure, Radio. Um, I, yeah, I'm not seeing anything on my side. Ah, so is this the door? Is this it? Uh, did you miss Mario? Yeah, we played. I finished up Death of a Plumber and uh, we, we did a bunch of rooms in uh, Claustrophobia. I'm legitimately, like, really loving claustrophobia. I'm having a ton of fun with it. Okay, so that might be that. Let's go ahead up here. Is it my first time playing claustrophobia? No, I played it I played it when it came out, like, a long time ago. I played it a long time ago. Uh, Project Pat, thank you for the 61 Bits. months. I'm currently getting my ass in me, but Final Boss had a great time with this game. First Souls game for you. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed it, dude. All right, let's see. So, Knight Rider. Spinning Strikes, Giant Hunt. I don't even know what Giant Hunt is. What even is Giant Hunt? And now we can make it heavy. So, this goes... So, we'd be losing the 29 uh, on the physical damage, but we'd be gaining 47. We'd be losing 29, but gaining uh, 47 is how I'm reading it. So, it's a little bit stronger. Okay, what even is, uh, what even is Giant Hunt? That's oh, like a big stabby stab. All right. Uh, Beatbox, thanks for the 100 bits. Long time lurker, you got this run, what, number 23 or so? Uh, this is my, uh, sixth attempt. Sixth attempt. Poor Giants. That's, right, so I guess we're on our way up. Any bets for this attempt? Oh, I didn't do a lot of bets today. <laughs> didn't do a lot. The original name wasn't appropriate. This guy outside the door is crazy. Ow. Asshole. Mike? You die, please. Thank you. Black Knight Assassin prick. I didn't I complete a deathless run? No, I died. <laughs> no, I fucking died. Uh, all right. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. I, somebody was telling me about the Dragon Crest Talisman for less damage. Actually, let's go. Uh, I'm kind of curious about something here. I think I could grab something real quick. Godwin lost to like 15 of them. Did you just hear your name? I don't think so. So if we go here and then up towards that way, I can grab that uh, that talisman and that might uh, might be a pretty good talisman to have, honestly. Let's go grab it. Go to the sewers for the somber seven. Yeah, I thought about it. Definitely thought about it. Hmm. The sewers aren't so bad. Uh, the first omen there can be a little annoying. The very first one. You stacked armor for Melania. That's nothing wrong with it. I mean, armor doesn't even really do that much, so I wouldn't feel bad about that. So. This guy's serious. He's hit me with a ball.
gift sub. Well, what the fuck was that? Jeez. Oh, that guy was an asshole. <sighs> that stanky leg is so weird looking. Jim McCrud, thank you for the gift sub. Thank you so much. Been looking for a long time. Got COVID and was in bed in the hospital. Going into a lot of my late life changes. Watching stream has been the only thing I enjoy lately. Well, dude, I hope things get better. I hope you feel better soon, man. And I am sorry to hear that. Feel better soon. It's probably a lot of my audience has had COVID, you know, like over the past however long, right? Probably a lot of you guys have had it, maybe even multiple times. It's crazy to think about. All right, let's grab the ritual shield talisman. We'll put this on and uh, let's go head up to Queen's bedchamber. Uh, Space Ghost in the Machine, thank you so much for the 12 months. Thank you very much. Yeah, had it twice. Yeah, it's crazy. No, if I was able to help you guys and help people, then you know, that's. You know, at least I was able to bring some happiness, you know, happiness and comfort, and like you know, spree. make you guys feel like you know you weren't alone or something. So, oh, I never had it. I never, I never got it. We, I've been vaccinated and boosted. I, I know that that doesn't prevent you from ever getting in the future, but beat Morgoths. Yes or no? Will I beat Morgoth? Place your bets, guys. Yeah, I'll donate blood, sure. Remember once they uh, they missed the vein a bunch in my arm and they like, oh God, so they pulled the needle out. It's like a big needle when you give blood. And when they pulled, the, they pulled it out, the needle was still in my arm and it was spurting blood out of it, like all over my arm. I was like, oh, sorry. They're like, oh, is it okay? Do you, are you okay? I'm like, I'm fine. Do the other arm. <laughs> Do the other now. Metal. Why are you doing this to us, Barb? I don't care. Do the other one. Give me Oreos. <laughs> uh, Stabby. Thank you for the 13 months. Thank you, Stabby. General Well, it's like there's like a plastic piece that attacks to the that attaches to the metal tube of the needle. Is what it is, and the plastic, the needle stayed in, but the plastic part came off. Is what it was. Willful traitors. Uh, Nooch, thank you for the thirty-five months. Thank you, Nooch. Thy kind are all of a piece. Peace. Emboldened by the flame of ambition. Have it writ upon thy meager grave. You give me blood, I give you Oreos. Thy king, Morgoth. Last of all kings. All right, let's play this well. That was a lot of attacks, and I got to attack once, kind of.
And I, got, I used the uh, pickled foul foot. I got 156k from that. GG whooped his ace that time. Is that the end? I'm afraid not. Boss defeated. Uh, Westonian, thank you for 16 months. Thank you, Westonian. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Kind of missed the better than you sound with this one. Every once in a while, you're gonna face an opponent like me that's just better than you easily. <laughs> easily. Yeah. Sus G died for our spines. What's that? Uh, all right, so we've got some levels here. And uh, we've got Rickard. Rickard is next. Yeah, what is Sus G? The origin for... Uh, Su he, he mistyped Jesus. Help us, Sus G. <laughs> Pretty good. Uh, let's grab some strength. Okay. Past Morgoth already. Yep, we killed Morgoth. We're doing all remembrances. Uh, yes, I would like to kill all bosses, all remembrances. We're gonna also have to do the uh, what's it called? I guess we don't have to do the first area of the underground. We are gonna have to kill the ancestor spirit uh, and uh, Astel, which so that means I guess next would actually be Radon. I think Radon could also be next too. I mean, Radon's probably, I, I don't want to say Radon is easier than Rickard, but we could probably go do Radon now. And uh, I'm going to use this too. Can I, uh, can I level up again with this? Probably, right? The wrapper on is uh, Sus G, the new wrapper. It's more strength. So this one has a C scaling with strength. This one has A scaling with strength. That's pretty sick. With your leveling, Radon. Yeah, I don't think Radon should be too tough. I'm not. I'm not really scared of Radon. Let's go ahead there. Yeah, there you go. There, there's the origin. Not too scared of Radon. Honestly, doing Radon before Morgoth probably makes more sense uh, for difficulty scaling. I think Morgoth's harder than than Radon. You would take Bimp in that fight. We need exclamation point easily. I don't think I need to link to the Reddit thread. I think it's, it's just something we find funny once in a blue moon. I don't think we need more of it. Uh, let's see, we got a map. A Knight Rider guy over here too again. There's a golden seed around here too somewhere. We need more Reddit. How far in it is this attempt? Uh, if we just kill Morgoth, we're, we're, we're well past halfway at this point. But if we're at all, if we're doing all remembrances, it's going to take a lot longer, obviously, because I have a, I have a ton of other stuff to fight. Is that a fucking death bird too? Oh my God, dude. <laughs> Get the hell out of here, dude. This area is a fucking horror show. Oh, I missed the map. Yay, Deathbird time. I despise Deathbird, dude. I'm not fighting that thing. I could probably dumpster it pretty fast, but I'm good. I'm good. Okay, there's the golden seed. We've got three. I think this might be another flask for us. Yeah, this is the uh, banner from killing uh, the one guy. Yes. Oh god, I hate the death birds so much. I hate them with a passion. Yeah, that's the one that Thrower of Stones keeps telling me about the uh, the sword. I've never used that sword actually. I've never used it. Hmm? The 
The mountain tops one is the worst enemy in the game. Yeah, I, I really... It just does way too much damage, dude. It does so much damage. It's ridiculous, man. Uh, why double halberds? Uh, they do fucking ball... They do ball shits amounts of damage. Is why I like them. Jumping attack. The damage is so good. Yeah, the poise... The poise damage is like, you know, it's okay. The uh, thing is, for maximum damage, we don't want to do jumping L1s don't do that much damage compared to jumping R2s. Um, but it's just double halberds are pretty good. They're pretty good. Okay, so we're up to 12. Uh, hey, hey, Corviday. Thank you for the gift sub to SusG. Thank you very much. I don't know about using colossal weapons. I don't know about that. Welcome. The stars have aligned. The festival. Are you the festival? Ready as ever be. Are Radon swords better if you have the stats? I don't know. I've never actually used Radon swords. You will find General divested. Okay. All praise to SusG. All right, let's get in there. Let's go fight Radon. You're getting a uh, PTSD from this fight. No, that's not so bad. The swords are pretty cool. Are they considered colossal weapons? Ah, the camera. We've got short range. Went to Radon at like level 40, like a Pepega. You could go to you could go to Radon at level one like I did. <laughs> you try that instead. His sword slash does poise damage. I didn't realize in my first playthrough. He just takes time. Does he not have feet? I think his feet have rotted away because of the scarlet rot. Feel sorry for his old horsey. Boss defeated. He has the world's strongest horse. <laughs> How long has it been since you died to him? Uh, I died to him at level one. <laughs> he killed me when I was at level one. You died minutes 20. You died minimum 20 times at the Cheese Him Off cliffside. 
Can I explain what's happening in this scene? So, uh... General Radon was holding back the in incursion of Kirby, who Kirby is now arriving here to devour and absorb all of the residents of the lands between, is what's happening. So yeah, this is, this is Kirby's arrival. <laughs> My god. Does you mean Kirby? It's canon. This is all Mike's fault. Uh, no, I believe, um, so the stars in this game aren't the stars, like, that we think of. Uh, the stars in this game are, like, uh, outer beings, like Astel, or something like that. So, um, Radon's gravity magic is apparently stopping the stars from, like, falling. He's, like, stopping the stars from falling, like falling star beasts, right? Exactly. So Radon is involved in like holding those back from uh, from crashing. And now that we've defeated him, now he can no, now he's no longer holding them back, right? So like Astel is one of those beings, and like maybe even Elden Beast is one of those beings. So what's happening here, I guess, is that when Radon dies, this star falls immediately to the ground. I guess so. Um, why does it fall to the ground immediately? I don't really know. I don't really have an answer for that. It just does. Them. Because the game demands it. Oh. oh, you know, we've been picking up baby monitors and shit from other people's houses. <laughs> I thought my wife was asking me something. I think it was just the, I think it was somebody's baby monitor. Yeah, let's go ahead and turn that off. I don't want, I don't want to hear. The last thing I want to hear is somebody else's fucking crotch goblin. Uh, all right. Are you talking to random babies? Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. It's called Twitch chat. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Uh, alrighty, so we can start heading towards Rikard. Uh, or we could also go, I, I guess going down here is kind of pointless. There is a golden seed down there, but, uh, if I get close, I guess I can just remember it. And Barb, you're right. He's really on fire today. <laughs> Thank you. Let's go ahead towards Rikard. Does Barb and Barb wife want a baby? We're going to file that under none of your fucking business. Absolutely zero of Twitch chat's business. Let's just safely file that there. Correct answer, yeah. Adopt you. I'm gonna get a job. <laughs> uh, Okuno, thank you for 23 months. Thank you, Okuno. Appreciate it. Ideal PB and J. I don't like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I don't like them. I don't like jelly. Jelly is so like, ugh. It's so it's so like gross and sweet. It's too much. I don't like PB and J. As a kid, it'd be like all right, but as an adult, no, I'm afraid not. Are these my end game weapons? I mean, maybe, maybe not. I'm, I'm not sure, honestly. So I've got double halberds now. I'm not sure what some other alternatives could be. <sighs> so I don't know. What about Jam? I heard she's truly outrageous. Truly, truly, truly outrageous. Double hammers. Yeah, I honestly don't know. Right now we're going with double halberds. Uh, these are these weapons do some fucking some nice damage for sure. Raspberry jam on toast. Uh, double twin blade is pretty good for sure. Definitely is. Double vulgar saw militia. Yeah, I would have to farm those, but that wouldn't be too bad. Gift sub. Uh, Fryrus, thank you for the gift sub. Thank you, Fryrus. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. What level are we anyway? Level 74. Still fairly low level here. 
Uh, Chris Lulls. Thank you for the nine months. Thank you, Chris Lulls. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. Oh, I see you got your shit figured out, huh, Wild Stoic? 74k, 74 is okay for the capital. Yeah, we're just a little low level. We're like a little low level. We're okay. Good. Glad you got it figured out. Try Nokrin if this too hard, IDK. I mean, Nokrin's not going to level us up much. Honestly, we want it to level up much. Probably go to the frozen snow fields and kill some, some of the dragons might be okay for high levels. I didn't kill, I didn't kill the super dragon. I could go kill that one. Uh, I don't even know if I, I'm not even sure I have a bleed weapon. Go do that. Have you played Ashes Afterglow? No, I haven't. Still online? Still online, man. Here I am. As a Moonvale enjoyer, I think I deserve a timeout for some time. Why? Because of your victim complex? Have fun with Moonvale. Who cares? What do I, what do I give a shit? Use a big flop, fucking floppy penis for all I give a shit. I care about as much as you use Moonvale as I care that you play the game at all. It's just to say zero. What I do care is that you know about the wonders of Twitch Prime. It's amazing. Right, guys? Floppy penis, tell us more. If you have an Amazon account, you can link it with your Twitch account and you can get a Twitch Prime sub for free. You can use it in this channel right now. How wonderful it is. What the lump? Thank you for the 21 months. Actually, hang on. Uh, what the lump? Thank you for the uh, 21 months of Twitch Prime. Dr. Curian, thank you for the 21 months. Thank you so much. I'll take your stone sword. Thank you. I think I might need that. Didn't work. Not enough insults. Twitch Prime, idiots. <laughs> Sits up business here of all places. <laughs> Arm staring at the camera while swirling ghost glow sticks is unsettling. I wonder, like, so, like, there's a fuck. How many people have Twitch or Amazon Prime? How many people have that shit, right? Like, millions upon millions, right? How many of those people use twitch prime it has to be literally like a like a very small amount like less than five percent right less than five percent of those people actually use twitch prime right could you imagine imagine if everybody who had an amazon prime account actually used a twitch prime account like they would cancel the program like tomorrow <laughs> could you imagine they would fucking cancel it like immediately I know most of them have no even died. What, what is Twitch? Some kind of streaming service? What is that shit? That would probably be the most of them, right? It still has an active hitbox. The rocks are up, man. Drink it and almost pay for it. 
was bullshit. Wow, that was bullshit too. I kind of hate this game. I really hate this game. Seven spree. Leak YPT. Thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you, Leak YPT. Fucking God. Boss defeated. Like the worst, most annoying fucking thing in the game. I swear to God, dude. I hate the... I understand that it's in a crater, but I hate the arena for him, too. The ev the elevation there really works against you in the fight. So annoying. Yeah, the Falling Star Beast Jaw is crazy, man. It's so good. Uh, RG Stewpot, thank you for the 26 months. Thank you, RG Stewpot. I don't really care about the map down here because uh, there's there's like a hand ambush right there. It's really fucking dumb. I don't really feel like dealing with that. You gotta just run by it. I need like three more in uh, in uh, intelligence and your strength here to use it. Number seven, right after you exit Volcano Man Manor to the lava area. I saw the new game plus mod command. Uh, no, I don't. I don't know where it is actually. What's my build like? Uh, we've got fifty-one vigor, uh, thirty-eight strength, and thirty-one endurance at the moment. I'm just wearing like pretty much all starter equipment. Actually, there's there's a helmet in the lane doll that gives you more strength. That would be quite nice, actually. No, Morgoth was pretty easy this run, honestly. Um, not really a problem. Sounds like quite the job. Oh, there you go. Morgoth wasn't too bad. Okay. We rarely refashion so about the bug if you have. Sure. Now you build the drawing room. I am ten. All right. Thank you. Sounds like quite the job fighting those hands. Yeah, it's not worth it. I don't even really need the map so much. I just have to get through this area, so. 
how to decide what weapons you're using. Well, at least a little bit's just like I like the halberd moveset and the the halberd moveset's nice. It's a little annoying with how slow it can be, but the that dual wielding halberds is very strong for sure. Very, very strong. Is this better than doing the missions? Uh I don't I don't really feel like dealing with the Hoslo guy, the invasion. I don't really feel like doing that. That one's kind of a pain in the ass. Besides, I want the souls to level up and I'm really not scared of what's his fuck? The fat godskin. I'm not scared of him. So Yeah, Godskin Noble. This area in general, like, isn't that bad. It's, it's not that hard. Oh. He's not right, right. I know he's not actually fat. I have a little bit of issue with Elden Ring. It seems like some of the areas in the game, it was like, we need an enemy for this area. This game has fantastic enemy variety, but in some areas it was like, okay, here's a blood dog. Okay, here's a zombie dog. Okay, here's a dragon dog. Like, they're all dogs, dude. You can dress them up however you want. It's all fucking dogs, man. <laughs> big dog the t-rex dog is different for sure but turtle dog oh you just poise right through that huh you just poise right through everything huh wow impressive getting hit with double halberd l1 poise right through it Good lord man Uh, Zaustus, thank you very much for the 23 months. Good luck not dying. Yeah, we're going to try not to. I hate the, the giant birds are the worst in Caleb. I hate the giant birds. So somebody was saying the sevens over here. The sevens are over here somewhere. Somewhere around here is a somber seven. Polish up and shine real nice, but it's still a piece. You can't. Am I going to use Storm Ruler for Rikard? Yeah, why wouldn't I? Absolutely. It was where the maiden was. You got to parkour on the bridge. You got to go back. Is that worth it? Where the maiden is? Like back towards the beginning of the area? Oh, where the Iron Maiden is? Oh, is that like the unintentional skip thing? Is that what we're talking about? Subscription. Uh, Brett, thank you for the 48 months. Thank you, Brett. The Iron Maiden is what you're talking about. The, yeah, okay. I'm the balcony of the Iron Maiden. You get there through a stone sword key uh, from the area near the teleport to Rikard. Stormwell is using all the Remembrance speedruns right now. Yeah, I guess it's because it has S strength scaling or something, right? Somber 5. Get to the Iron Maiden and break out in the Godsmack. Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. That's not Godsmack. Who is that? <laughs> Why can't I think of the name? I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. Smash mouth. Why would there should have been a god smack and uh God smack and smash mouth? They should have done a collab.
How does it feel to get attacked through the pillars, motherfucker? How does that shit feel, huh? How do you like it? <laughs> How do you like getting attacked through the pillars? How do you like it? Deserved. Payback's a bitch. <laughs> Yeah, how do you like that shit, huh? Hmm? Subscription. Uh, McLeod, thank you for the 12 months. Thank you, McLeod. Godskin Noble is also lizard people. You may not want to get the somber seven. You have to drop down the crates. Yeah, that I think I remember what you're talking about. It's like, right, I think I know the area you're talking about. It's a stone sword key area. It's right before Rickard and you have to do some. There's like a guy sniping you and you have to do some fucked up drops. I know that area. That seems incredibly risky and I don't think it would even really help me much right now. There's got to be, there's definitely easier somber sevens later. It's not worth the risk. Now for a speed run, that may be the fastest somber seven you can get. For me, that's an unnecessary risk. I don't want to risk dying to, to get something. Yeah, it's fine. I, I know that because I've been that area. I've done that before. It's not worth it. No, we're the runs alive, dude. We're alive. Ow. We are definitely alive. This game has a very, uh, a good variety of locations. Yeah, for sure. It definitely does. Yeah, it's right over here. And there's a, apparently there's a somber seven. We can get there. I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried about that. It's like watching somebody free solo. It makes you sweat. Uh, we want to do all remembrances. You know, I'm, I missed a couple of, uh, I missed a couple of, I don't know if I missed golden seeds or not. Probably a few, but definitely missed, uh, let's see. I'm trying to think about the tier, the sacred tiers to increase it. My flask. I didn't go here. That's a, that's plus one that I missed out on. Um... Oh, I never went to go get this. Uh, I don't think I ever got that golden seed either at the fort. I don't think I ever got that one. That's an easy one to grab, and I didn't do it. That's just a golden tier. That's a, a a seed. We don't we don't have enough for uh, another flask yet. I think we'll be okay. Okay. You missed the tier in Weeping Peninsula until I was like level seventy. The secret tiers are south of where you are. This boss has one attack that I feel like is almost impossible to avoid. Actually, I'm a little bit scared. I don't have a... Can I shield offhand? Right. Yeah, the earthquake. That one I can avoid. You just have to be right in his head to avoid it.
I was standing right in it. Barb is OP. Pretty nice of this guy to leave his counter just lying at the entrance of the room. One of the people in Volcano Manor says he left it there, right? Oh, very well. Please don't scam us. It still like freezes and gets choppy. It still gets cho I know it still gets choppy for me. Uh, Ami, thank you for 11 months. McLeod Strife, thank you for the 12 months. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. Music for this boss is very Dark Souls 1. <laughs> you had no idea you could jump attack. Ah, uh, thank you again, Ami. The scale of this what gets me the first take he does leans in and spits out fire looks so creepy with how big his face is. Yeah, this is uh this is a really inspired like visually, like, you know, I know I know that I criticize people for saying, Oh, visually this boss is great, but visually this boss is really great. <laughs> boss defeated.
Yeah, yeah, I've, I've, I've done, I've done all the lot. Like, I don't know about every single side thing, but I've done a lot of the side stuff. I've been here with Tannis and stuff. So, you can also kill and get the incantation from her bodyguard, which is cool. Like, it's like the flamethrower one or whatever. Okay. Rigor was just hungry. What part of this scares you? Uh, well, I mean, last run died to Horalu and, uh, Malaketh is scary. Um, so I think Fire Giant scares me because Fire Giant sometimes is just, oh, big boom, boom, gone. It's like, what even happened to me? <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's go to East Capital Rampart here. Yeah, we killed Radon. He's dead. Thank you, Ami. Bada big boom. Fire Giant's a bad boss. I totally agree. Couldn't agree anymore. Oh, uh, let's see. What do we have? We have five sixes and sevens. We could probably upgrade the Knight Rider Halberd. Or the, yeah, we could probably upgrade the Knight Rider Halberd for sure. There's something else I want to grab here. I did see that blunt shark. That was funny. I didn't get to Melania last run. I didn't get to her. I was going to do the any percent and then worry about Melania and Moog and shit. But I didn't get that far. <laughs> End up pressing crouch and you're running around. You get so into the fights. Then a level Ame. Okay. Ame. Well, maybe you should spell it right. I'm only kidding. Uh, thank you very much. Ame. Can't wait to see Moog. Okay, so over here. Oh, get out of here. Like up here. Uh, you know what? It might be. You know what? I'm actually lost. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Actually quite lost. Ah, here we go. This is it. How do you spell Chris? I mean, Chris can be spelled any number of different ways, right? It's like cultural, like, uh, there's a lot of different ways to spell Chris, right? Quirsh. Quirsh. Lionel's armor is uh, pretty good. We might want to switch to that. How do you spell your social security number? Uh, 1669. Oh, shit. Oh, we're just going to sit down here for a second. <laughs> okay, I wanted to kill this guy. Uh, I like this guy because I like the omen smirk mask. Uh, it gives you three strength or two strength or three strength. It gives you some strength, which is nice. Um, this puts me at heavy load for now. That won't always be the case. A little bit of more strength means a little bit more damage for me, too. Share the load. Uh, 69. Extra long stream. Four two zero six nine one two three four. How'd you know? Did I get a somber seven? Uh, no. So I need one more five, and I need a somber seven for that. Is what I would need. So uh, we need another five and some and a seven. Uh, the fives we can get if we head over to uh, Zamora Ruins. Uh, we can just buy them. So I guess we can go ahead there. All right. What a lucky social security number. You think somebody's social security number is 42069, you know, whatever. You think somebody's got that? The hands outside the dung eater's cage. Yeah, but that's dangerous, dude. That's dangerous. I'm not going down. First of all, I don't want to go to the sewers. And that area in particular is kind of a nasty ambush, so. Just kind of from Dr. Strange, it was all right. Cool idea. Something blew you away. Yeah, I didn't really care for it either. It was all right. 
Like, I didn't like... I don't dislike it, but I definitely don't really like it. It was like a lot of cool, crazy comic ideas and in terms of like story or character development, like very little. I also, I don't like time travel and multiple universes as like a narrative plot device. I don't like it, so. Don't care for those things. Morbius was better. I heard that. I'm mostly a fan of all the Marvel movies in general. You don't have to worry, I will not. I'm not going to spoil anything. I know some people are like, <gasps> no spoilers. Don't worry, I will not spoil anything. What are you guarding anyway? Nothing. Okay, you're guarding nothing. You don't like the last Spider-Man for the same reason? I thought, uh, no, no Way Home? Far From Home? Whatever it was. I thought it was good. I enjoyed it. Yeah, I'm not really sure what I would spoil, honestly. So... Oh, cameos. Oh, this character shows up. Oh, that character shows up. Who cares? Um, MCU has always been mindless fun jokes. Well, Cosmic King, I would I would say that at its best, the MCU has some pretty some pretty decent action scenes and some co some like pretty interesting characters that are well acted interacting with one another. Uh, at its best. At its absolute best. Like, I think Winter Soldier and Civil War are pretty good. You know? I think Infinity War was pretty good. And yeah, yeah, it, it can definitely get bogged down in stupid sense of humor and, like, the same, like, oh, here, poopy fart fart joke. Like, we get it, all right? Uh, all right, so we might want that for later. They storyboard the action scenes before they even... Yeah, I mean... To me, I feel like it's... To me, I, I wouldn't say it's, like, obvious. Like, oh, everybody should know this. But I've, uh, I've long kind of felt that, like... The MCU movies... Like, everything comes... Everything comes out like they want to make a character... They want to make a movie based on this character. And then they decide what the story is. So it's like... It's not like, oh, man. We have a story we want to tell. It's... You know, the marketing determines whose character gets what story. Like, that's my issue, I guess. And I mean, I think that that's fairly obvious, right? The only good story is good guy fight bad guy. We want action figure, yeah. Do action figures even fucking sell anymore? I mean, unless they're that Tifa action figure. Do you guys think somebody's actually going to send me that Tifa statue? <laughs> so, I, I would, I feel like I would have to record my wife's reaction. <laughs> I feel like I would have to record it. It's a major award. Can I put it in the window like the leg from, uh, from what's it called? You know, I'm wondering, I don't know how many souls these guys give you. And I'm going to do this fight. Uh, Jessica, thank you for the 17 months. Thank you, Jessica. I feel like these guys actually give you a good chunk of souls. Dude, I like Winter Soldier. I like Winter Soldier. I like Civil War. I mean, people have been bitching about how, how soulless Hollywood is for like fucking since before we were born, dude. I don't think that's going to change. That's been going on for literally, like, decades. This is a fight I missed, I guess. Uh, I mean, it's just two fucking omen dickheads. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say you missed too much here. Need more avatar? 
You bought Subnautica? Dude, nice. That was weird. Yeah, how many souls does this give me anyway? 29,000. That's not bad for a basically free fight. If you miss this, you never you never activated Morgoth or Morgs or Moog's runes. Is this where you activate both of them right here? Is this where you actually do it? I don't know why. Is that supposed to be Moog and Morgoth? I've heard that uh, eventually Morgoth's rune outpaces Godric's rune. Like eventually you just want to switch over to Morgoth or Radon's rune. It's pretty easy to get here, right? No, it's not like that's that bad to get up here. For pure HP, it does. Yeah, like later on, I don't know if Godric's rune is really helping us much, right? Let's see, what level are we? We're level 83. You're ready for the Disney alien sci-fi with Avatar. You see the Reddit post about how the map is actually Godwin's body? Ah, you know, at some level, you just kind of be like, all right, that's a bunch of bullshit. You're, you're reading a little far into it. <laughs> At some point, you're like, okay, yeah, I don't know about that. Do rune arcs do anything without rune arcs? I think they boost your HP like a little bit, right? If you use a rune arc. It's a curled finger, not a body. Me and my friends would see the Northman, but I wasn't sure anymore, and that's how we accidentally saw Doctor Strange 2 opening night. I enjoyed the, the Northman more than I enjoyed Doctor Strange 2. I'd give Doctor Strange 2, like, I... I I know people like the dumpster all over the Marvel movies and stuff. I'm actually, I, I find myself more often in the position of defending them nowadays because like people want to say like they're all shit, but I actually don't think that. I actually really enjoy some of them. I think that the vast majority of them are meh. They're like meh, who cares? Meh, generic. So like many of them just fall in that like middle of the road, like who cares category, you know? I think Doctor Strange 2 is like visually cool, but the rest of it is in the meh, who cares category. I think Ant-Man, like, I think Paul Rudd is super likable as Ant-Man. Like, you know, he's he's good in the role. I think that it has some, some cool, again, some cool visual stuff. I feel like the story, they kind of stumble a little bit on it with the story for Ant-Man. Story is a little, like, kind of meh. Uh, where the hell am I going, actually? I'm lost. This way? Yeah, north. Can't say I'm a huge fan of Ant-Man. It's again, another meh. I think the only one I've ever, the only, the only Marvel movies I've really disliked would be Thor 1 and 2. Didn't like Thor 1 and 2. Every time I put on, every time we've ever put on Thor 2, I instantly fall asleep. <laughs> I don't like it. Uh, I don't like Captain Marvel. And I think that would be it. Those are the ones that like, I really dislike. Those are the ones I really dislike. Yeah. Oh, uh, Returnals is, is meh. It's definitely a meh one for me. Oh, Black Widow. I don't like Black Widow either. Yeah, I, d I definitely dislike that one. Yeah, Black Widow I don't like. Uh, Everyday Taco. Thank you for the reset. Thank you for the three months. He did like the worst possible attack in my face. Bro, why? Dude, stop spamming your fucking bullshit. Oh my God. Boy, this thing is horrible. My God, this thing is horrible. This thing is fucking awful. Psh. Camera? What camera? God. 
Fucking A. Face tanking? Ugh. I think it's fucking awful. Is it difficult being so handsome? I don't think of myself as good looking. Like at all. But I also don't like I, I do not think about it at all. I think that your personality and who you are and, and matters a lot more. Like I would rather be funny and, and weird looking if, like for if we're talking about a, like attracting a partner or like, you know, somebody of the opposite or the same sex. I feel like having a good personality and, and being likable is a lot goes a lot farther than being good looking. At least that's my opinion. So it's a shame that I also have a terrible personality, but hey, you know what? <laughs> don't have those either. Looks fade. You don't smell disgusting. I mean, you can't smell me through the thing. You don't know that. Oh. Boss defeated. We're doomed. Katie, am I funny? Over. We were getting a baby. We're getting a baby monitor through here, so I turned off my my walkie-talkie. Pretty selfish of them to use to use the broadcast waves for their baby. It's pretty fucking selfish. Some of us are trying to actually do something here. Right, what if I need a cup of coffee and some baby's crying somewhere about God knows what? Psst. Fucking unbelievable, these people. Talk to your wife with walkie-talkies? How do you talk to your wife? <laughs> Why not get a baby monitor of your own? Wah, chicken nuggies! I sleep in a race car. I sleep in a big bed with my wife. Orgas drink is 25% health. Uh, Radon's raises everything, raises all attributes by 15%. Yeah, I mean, at some point, you know, right now we're still using Godric's. I think, I think we're still getting some good benefit out of Godric's, but, uh... You know, I, by the end of the run, what are we, like, level... We're, like, barely level 100-something, 100, 100 and change by the time we're in the final boss. I don't know if we've outpaced Godric's rune by that point, because we still, like, the five extra strength and the HP and everything, I feel like Godric might still actually be our best bet, but I don't know. This is the aspect of number crunching in the Souls games. I, I thought I was going to go right off a cliff right there. <laughs> Not a huge fan of the number crunching aspect of RPGs in general. What did you get to eat? Burrito, Wendy's, tacos. Some uh, Taco Bell Doritos Locos Tacos. Hey, fuck you, man. You have ramen for later? Somber eight, God damn it! where the fuck is there a somber seven already? Jesus Christ. Is that the is that is that Somber Seven, literally the only one in the entire game? Volcano Manor, Volcano Manor on the edge. Is that the only Somber Seven in the whole fucking game? <laughs> There's one buyback. Uh, uh, Zamor ruins. Is there one in the Big Skull by uh, the thing? Is there really one over there? 
Like if we go back here and go down and go backwards, is there is there one down there in the skull? You hate the stones in this game? There's one on the way to the Lake of Rot. Somber 7's got patched out. Right after some more ruins. Okay, so like I could maybe do one. But isn't there one? So there's like a giant skull over here somewhere. Is there one in the skull? <sighs> Sorry, chat. Yeah, my heart stopped too. I think this is the skull. Yeah. Is this the, so is this the somber seven? There, finally. My god, man. Fucking A. Characters didn't, unfortunately. Our characters didn't. My character's heart didn't stop. Uh, all right, so we did end up getting this one at the Ancient Snow Valley. Okay, so that's fine. Um, yep, Chatopedia was right. Chatopedia was right. Well, it should chomp when you get the stone. Yeah, calm down, calm down, Satan. Relax. Okay, I can also so now we can get to we're at plus nine on the commander standard. We need to go turn this in. Um, and we can go by what is it fives or sixes is that what we need fives or sixes I think the stones for seven and eight for the Knight Rider glaive are only uh, oh, we need fives and sixes so the sevens and eights I think are only in uh, Farrah Missoula you want to get those it's like chat roulette We're gonna offer this. And uh, we needed five, we need one more five, and we need one more six, I think? Is that all we need? We might be good. Consecrated Snowfield has some. Nine, 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 nine. Yeah, the Consecrated Snowfield one, that one's where the Estelle is, that boss, ugh. Okay, so the so the heavy Knight Rider Glide is now at plus 19. It's got, man, if we just leveled up a little bit more, we're going to have S scaling on strength. So, man, maybe this is going to be, like, the greatest, the best possible damage we could be getting out of it, right? Let's see. So, if we, uh, let's say we have the Commander Standard on. Uh, looks like it's, it's almost comparable. It's like 233 plus 250 to plus 250. That's, uh, 483. Um, so commander standard is still significantly stronger, but it's it's relatively close By the time we get up there uh, Microwaver, thank you for the 36 months. Thank you microwaver. Appreciate that. Thank you so much uh, Can I change any of my armor yet? Not yet. No Eventually we'll be able to wear some of this stuff and uh, have some more resistance, which I probably should have had last time all right, I think uh, let's go ahead and let's call it there. We're uh, five hours in on this run. We're level 85. We still haven't died. Still haven't died. This might be it. Ah, I envy. Really, really envy. Envy you people without allergies. Very, very envious of you people. Uh, good morning. Best way to start is coffee and my streams. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. All right, let's take a look. Uh, see what we got. I'm allergic to morning chat. Every fail is stressful. So we got a uh, plus nine and plus 19 on the heavy Knight Rider Glaive, or Glaive rather. Uh, let's see, what do we need for, let me take a look at the smithing stones before we continue. Uh, our next bosses are probably gonna be Fire Giant, which, ugh, not looking forward to that. Well, you blame Snake for my allergies? Slowly inject yourself with pollen to build immunity. So we need a uh, smithing stone sevens to improve the heavy Knight Rider glaive. Um, I'm thinking our next best bet, instead of going directly to Fire Giant, is probably heading towards Astel. Is probably our next best bet. Uh, I think that's what we're probably gonna do. 
Uh, did we ever get the uh, Celia Crystal Tunnel? We didn't. We didn't uh, go all the way this way, did we? Let's go to Dragon Barrow real quick. I'm gonna go this way. Let's get the Bane Mask. Am I doing marbles today? Uh, I don't think so. No. I do not think so. Well, uh, we'll get to marbles when we get to it. Go quickly grab this map here. No magnets. This is the uh, sixth attempt. Uh, Kivonian, thank you for the 29 months. Thank you, Kivonian. Appreciate that. I was going to until he asked. Uh, I don't know. It's not, it's not about like, oh, I don't, I don't want to do it or something. It's just, I, I don't want to overdraw from, uh, I don't want to overdraw on that particular thing. Hell, obviously we'll do it again, obviously, but, uh, I don't, I don't want to overdo it. Chat swallowed all the marbles. It'll happen when it happens. Yeah, I mean, it's all like, dude, we've done marbles so much. We, we do it. We do it a lot, so. Silk Song is releasing today. Wow, that's some, uh, that's some big time copium you got there. Some real big time copium. What's most scary for Deathless runs? Uh. I think the reality for Deathless runs is that. When you let your guard down about certain things, like even like easier bosses and bosses you're more used to, like that's scary. Um, I mean, this game, Elden Ring is pretty mean. It can fucking kill you at any time. Like, uh, so I, I don't know. I mean, my last run died to Horaloo. I would say that gravity is scary everywhere. <laughs> gravity is pretty scary. You can just trip and fall pretty easily in this fucking game, and it's like, whoops. Especially, especially with the horse. Especially with the horse. So, uh, navigating is pretty scary. Uh, Malaketh does a fuckload of damage. Fire Giant does a fuckload of damage. So, like any one of those things is pretty terrifying. <clears throat> the bone saw has gone. Uh, thank you, Kivoni, and I really appreciate the twenty-nine months. Use the sacred tier. We need five golden seeds for that. So right now we only have two. Uh, there's one in this town which we haven't got to yet. There's also one up here. Let's go back up to Fort Ferreth. Am I worried about Radagon? Uh, more worried about Elden Beast than Radagon. Elden Beast sometimes, man. Elden Beast is fucked up because I mean he's not like obviously Elden Beast isn't like the hardest boss ever, but. He, he does Elden Stars, flies up in the air, and suddenly it's like, it's a fucking laser light show and you're just gone. It's like, what the fuck? What, what, what even was that, you know? So, you know, I don't know. I, I think I'm less worried about Radagon and Elden Beast than I am about other shit. So, I'm going to kill you two here. Where I rolled. So, oh my god. Holy shit, dude. I gotta I gotta wake up here. Apparently I'm still asleep. I guess I was standing in his scarlet rot bullshit. Okay. 
Got like three times the gravity trying to get to Ordina Liturgical Count. Uh, can't imagine trying Deathless. Trying to get to Ordina. Is that the... Is that the ice... The ice town? With the three switches? Is that that one? Oh. Yeah. Boss defeated. <laughs> Boss defeated. Mini bosses don't count. What for deathless? Oh, oh you mean for for the, <laughs> the perfect sound clip for killing Melania? You got a phone interview today at ten. Wish you luck. Good luck. Insert number. Thank you for the 17 months. Thank you very much. Boss defeated. Uh, thank you, Mark. Always funny. It is pretty good, yeah. <laughs> is that me saying no? God damn it. Uh, it's from Unmetal, yeah. It's not me saying it. Keck W, me and Joy. What are those symbols beneath your stamina? Those are like all the various effects I have right now on my, uh, on my character. It's like, uh, I stamina recovery, jump attacks, uh, armor or something. I don't know. It's a bunch of, it's a bunch of random shit. Uh, a herp derple. Thank you for 16 months. Thank you, a herp derple. Some pretty solid, uh, pretty solid levels we're gonna get from all that. Okay. Uh, okay. Go grab this one. Uh, Silly Kitty, thank you for the 21 months. Confirm, Barb said it. All right, there's uh, another golden seed right here. We can go grab two. There's also this fucking gargoyle thing, but I, man, I really hate, I gotta be honest, I really hate these super gargoyles. I hate them. Uh, I feel like they do, like, way too much damage on some of their attacks. I hate the suit. Yeah, I don't like them. Especially, maybe they wouldn't be so bad if you could fight them in, like, on a flat surface or something, too. But you're always fighting them on some really shitty ground. It's like the worst. Just destroyed that pillar. Uh, Rav Panda. Thank you for the 12 months. Thank you, Rav Panda. Yeah, well, the gargoyles, those gargoyles aren't too bad. Uh, the, these, the black blade kindred ones, these are the ones that are really awful, in my opinion. I really don't like fighting them. Uh, let's see. Uh, Aberan, thank you for the tier 3 55 months. Thank you, Aberan. Really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Uh, Rav Panda, thank you for the 12 months. Thank you very much. 
Don't die. I'm going to try not to. Uh, thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Ragnarok soon. Is it soon? It's not soon, right? We don't have a release date or anything, do we? Uh, let's see. What we got? All right. So I guess we're going to start heading towards Fire Giant, which is up this way. All right. Only confirmation is releasing this year. What do you guys think? Uh, should I do? Uh, should I do another uh, God of War marathon? Maybe just maybe just the main line. Maybe we can skip the DS or the not DS the PSP God of Wars. Maybe skip those. How many subs are we up to right now? Uh, I don't have the number right now. I can look at it. I don't really, I don't know. I feel like it's weird to have like your, uh, is, I feel like it's a little weird to have your sub count on stream. I don't know. Bits. Like, I feel like if you have a lot, you're flexing and you're showing off and people are like, wow, look at this guy showing off. If the number goes down people are like, oh my God, Barb's losing subs. Oh my God, what happened? Like either way, it's like a lose-lose situation. Like I don't like, I don't like either situation. <laughs> <laughs> like literally on both cases I don't like either one it's not weird to you people bring it up a lot if it's there people bring it up a lot I don't even have it on what about a command I don't want a command did you listen to what I just said uh Joshi thank you for the 10 gift subs very much joshy really appreciate that dude uh if you get a gift sub welcome thank you so much joshy i really appreciate that losing subs i know it's like either way i don't either way that's i'm either flexing oh look at how many subs i got or it's like oh barb's losing subs oh my god <laughs> like I, I don't think i like either opportunity <laughs> i don't like either one so that's what the statue are. Yeah, yeah. Either way, I don't like it. So. You only found this path yesterday. Uh, thank you so much, Joshi. Uh, Dark World 6 to bits says Titan mode or Riot. I don't think God of War 2 Titan mode would be as bad as it was because I feel like I've got the strat, which is once you get the hammer, well, all in the fucking so hammer, dude. All in the fucking hammer because the hammer and get. Unless you want to hit things 8 million times in God of War, you better use that hammer, buddy. Uh, Dendi, thank you for the 28 months. You hate it here? There's the fucking door, buddy. <laughs> Adios, muchacho. Uh, let's see. How are we supposed to know my sub goal? I don't really have a sub goal. I'm just, I just stream, I stream for fun. Doing it for fun. My Spanish is is impressive. Gracias, amigo. <laughs> Are you gonna cheese Fire Giant? You kind of can't cheese Fire Giant anymore. Perfect. Uh, don't you mean perfecto? <laughs> no habla español. Barb sure does yell a lot for somebody having fun, bro. Like. You, you play video games and you don't fucking yell at them. That attack is probably the worst one. He just suddenly, he just suddenly roars like that. Wow. Uh, maybe that attack's actually the worst. 
You gonna stop? Die? Well, he shouldn't have fucking attacked me, should he have? It's not my fault. <laughs> Blame me because he attacked me. Uh, mentally inept. Thank you for the 48 months. Thank you, mentally inept. Vichior, thank you for the 14 months. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh. Boss defeated. Awesome. Dude, Smokolo getting fucking annihilated by the brigand eight pounder yesterday was fucking hilarious, dude. <laughs> oh my god, that was so good. Total party wipe. You know where I got the most gifts? I kind of bad for the guys who never got a sub gifted here. The best arts come from indie games. Good luck for the restaurant. Thank you. Did I add that to the soundboard? Yes, I did. So many people died. I mean. Uh, BC Parker, thank you for the 50 months. Thank you, BC Parker. Is that some? No, it's not smoke. It's from it's, it's from the game Unmetal. It's not sm It's not me. It's not Smoke Oak. It's not. It's <laughs> I'm done with you guys. Who is that? Who is that, Bob? Bob, who is that? Who is that? Lord, you guys. Who is that? Is it later? Uh, I think I just got a sacred tier, right? Yeah. Who is that? <laughs> right, so we're up to 12 plus 9. We could also go to the Frenzy Village real quick because there's uh, another sacred tier there we could go grab. Making sure that our flask heals as much as possible is probably a pretty safe bet. Uh, and that's not too bad to grab that one either. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's this way. Yeah. Keep following the road. Barb is actually my best friend. Secret VIP status, not a loser. Subscription. Uh, Sound Doctor. Thank you for the 20 months. Thank you, Sound Doctor. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Having a difficult time with Melania. Any small tip you could share? Uh, if you're having a problem with Melania, it's, it's undoubtedly because of the one attack she has that's like actually hard to deal with. Uh, and, uh, if you're having trouble with that, you can either run away from the, it's the, really the first part of the attack is the bad part. You can run away from that. Um, if you're at close range, I could recommend offhanding a shield or a great shield and just like holding the shield up when she does that. Yes, she'll heal off of you, but you won't fucking die. And you might not even take any damage at all. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's obviously it's not ideal that she heals, but it's better than dying. So, yeah, shield goes a long way. I don't, I don't recommend, like, I think maybe the chill pot idea, like, maybe that could work. But that seems dicey to me because you got to quickly switch to the chill pot. And you got to throw it and you got to make sure you hit her. And I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know if I trust that strat. People have said the ice pots are good, but uh, I don't know. I mean, what happens if she does the waterfowl when she's already chilled, right? The shield, I think, is a guarantee. Um, go get yourself a shield. Upgrade the shield to get as much guard boost as you can. And you'll be fine. You'll be surprised how effective it is. Uh, will you do Melania in this run if Silk Song gets more information today? Wow, I see all the, uh, all the Silk Song clowns are out in force today. Today is the day, guys. You're going to hear so much about Silk Song today. Guaranteed. Definitely the day today. They've got their clown makeup on. <laughs> we 
because of the Nintendo event. Would they really announce like would they really announce Silk Song at like a Nintendo indie thing? Would they really do that? It seems like not super likely to me. this guy I fucking hate this guy He's so dodgy, dude. Stop. Did they like go ape shit on this guy's like AI? Like, why is he so dodgy? I hate this guy. Asshole. I know, I know. This guy's a fucking prick. Yeah, I know. I know about the smithing stone up there. I know about that. I can't even really use it though because I don't have the plus. I don't have the nines. If you look at my um, if you look at my stones here. Um, I have smithing stone sevens. I need sevens, eights, nines, and then the tens. So I'm not even close to need to needing it right now. Yeah. Sanguine noble is also really dodgy. All right, let's see. And increase our amounts. Oh, I think there's another golden seed around here somewhere too. We can go quickly grab that, and that'll be enough for 13 flasks. Cadence of Hyrule was revealed. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, maybe. You know, I, I, you know what, Silk Song fans that are that you've got your full clown makeup on. Best of luck. I, I hope it gets revealed to you guys today. I hope you get it. I, I have nothing against you. Do I, I have severe doubts that you're going to get it, but I hope you do. Today is the day. <laughs> Metal slug tactics. Yeah, the rivers of blood weapon art is uh, extremely powerful. So I'm wondering over here is that physic somewhere around. It's like around this back corner somewhere around here is the physic that turns all non-physical damage uh, into healing for you. Like, if you get hit by non-physical damage, you'll actually gain HP. Now I'm wondering, could I grab that for Elden Beast when he does Elden Stars and use that so that I don't fucking die to some horrible combo? Like, you know, when I, when, if I make it that far. I'm wondering how bad is it to grab it? Like, I know it's on a ledge. It's on a kind of nasty ledge, I remember. Metroid Prime 4 fans or Silk Song fans? I don't know. I'm wondering if I, I'm wondering if it's like a worthy risk. You know, I don't know. Did anyone learn that it's physical damage? Is there a way to even stop Elden Stars if he does it? I mean, you could kill him before he gets it off. I knew that. All right, let's go put on the flame drake talisman and negate some fire damage here, I guess. Uh, oh, let's go add a flask. Is the run complete when you do? Well, ideally, I want to do all remembrances, so that would include Melania and Moog and shit, but uh, I'm going to try to beat Elden, Elden Beast first. Um, and then do that, ideally. Uh, we'll see. Uh, can I please fight? I, I really, you know, when it comes to boss fights, I just want it to be daytime. Can it please be morning? <laughs> I'd like it to be actually daytime so I can, like, see better. There we go. Thank you. Just I, I feel like the lighting bothers me. All right. Got to get past the douche first. All righty. What's up, Hamden? 
For the PvP part, Breadwatch, the game scaling things for PvP, but that Bloodlust is a bit too much. I wouldn't be surprised if they, I wouldn't be surprised if they nerf uh, Rivers of Blood eventually. I wouldn't be too surprised at that. This guy is literally 1,000 times your size. How can you kill him? By sweeping the leg. Oh, hang on. I think I actually want to two-hand the halberd. We're probably going to be mounted for a good chunk of this. The old dick twist. This is an utter failure of a boss, in my opinion. Yeah. I hate this boss. Unexpected, pine unexpected pineapple thanks to the reset. Okay. That seems pretty good for attacking the hands. It's like a nice chunk of damage. If he does the fist, the punch attack. Yeah, the volcanic eruption attack is probably the scariest thing he does. I think so. The volcanic eruption when he does what he just did. I think you can get a lot of hits in there. The thing is, like, is it worth it to risk death? Because if you get hit by one of those things, it does like crazy, crazy damage if you get hit in there. So I don't know if it's worth it. It's like the Lorax. That double fist attack reminds me a lot of uh, old Iron King.
epic kill. <laughs> That's an epic kill. Boss defeated. Something went a lot better than last time, too. Uh, Katotterfish. Thank you so much for the 10 gift subs. Holy shit. Katotterfish, thank you so much for the 10 gift subs, man. I really appreciate that. Uh, if you got a gift sub, welcome. Thank you so much, dude. Holy shit. Now, don't fall. Only gravity can possibly stop this run. No, there's still a lot of really hard bosses, man. There's Malaketh, and Malaketh is not, like... I don't know. I don't know. Like Malaketh isn't like, oh my god, as terrifying as he once was. But Malaketh is still pretty terrifying. Um, he's required, and obviously Hor Horalu is what killed the run last time, right? So, um, thank you so much, uh, Fisher. Fish. I really appreciate that, dude. Thank you. Hmm. Anyone see Doctor Strange? Yeah, yes, I saw it. Yeah, Horalu is pretty scary, and I mean, like, like I said, so is, uh, what's his fuck? Elden Beast is pretty scary, too, so. We slaughtered Malekith last time. The uh, Godskin Duo is also scary as well, so. Yeah, Duo almost got me last time, right? Everyone loved the Lone Wolf Armor. Is the Lone Wolf Armor the one that the cover guy, the guy on the cover wears? Oh, yeah, our weapon damage. I mean, our, I don't know if you noticed, but we were doing fucking like a, a holy shitload of damage to Fire Giant compared to last time. <laughs> um. I have a pet theory against Horalu. And I don't know if I want to do it or not yet. I probably won't this run, but if, if something happens to... If Horalu beats me again this run, like if I make it that far and I fight Horalu again. When I fought Horalu on Soul Level 1, I used the Ansper Rapier to poison and Scarlet Rot him. And that was pretty effective. That was pretty effective because the Ansper Rapier has really, really fast R1s. And then if you can get the status on him, you're damaging him the whole time while he's doing his fucking endless combos or whatever. So all you have to do at that point is just focus on rolling, like roll, 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 poke, roll, 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 poke. So I feel like the Ansper Rapier against Hor like as opposed to this, like that's a pr that was pretty effective at level one. It didn't take me that long to beat Horalu. Like, yeah, he one shot me a lot, but it wasn't that bad. Um... See, the thing of the difference is that with me using these weapons is that obviously these are not a poke. These are like dropping an atomic bomb if I can hit that, right? Like that does so much damage, but it's really, it's such a huge commitment to do that. So a part of me is almost tempted to go get the Ansper Rapier just for Horalu, but uh, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, if I whiff, it's fucking horrible, right? Long the roll, roll, poke, 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 right? This world is in dire need exactly, of Fig Picker, right? And death. Are you to commit? Why not? Go for it. Let my hand. Boss defeated. Uh, Tech Addict, thank you so much for the nine months. Thank you, Tech Addict. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. Farrah Missoula is the end station. Barb is touching the maiden. God. A great shield and poke could work against Horalu. No, because you can't. I'm pr I'm like ninety five percent sure you can't shield his uh, his command grabs. Pretty sure you can't shield the command grabs. If he just grabs you, that's just it. Right, exactly. So, I don't think his shield's going to be super effective versus him. What's up, AZL? How are you?
One thing about this weapon is I have to really be careful to not accidentally buffer an additional L1. To really be careful to not do that. Because that additional L1 will get me killed. Buffering another L1 seems... Yeah, it's really easy to buffer an additional L1. It really is. I mean, even if you beat the beginning guy at the beginning of the game, you still have to die. If anything... Beating the guy at the beginning of the game guarantees you die, because I never had a you died screen. You fall off a cliff at the beginning, you do get a you died a screen. So technically, this is actually the real true deathless run. Why is input buffering even a thing in these games? Grab the sign, death counts to death now. Why does he say that? Because he's doing his own, the, the no hit rules are totally different. That's, that's something completely and utterly different from what I do. We're not doing a no hit run. You saw, oh, did you see Homeward Boom? Uh, Real Chiltronic, thank you for getting a sub from somebody else. <laughs> yeah, no hit runs, that's a totally different thing. Every game needs input buffering to some degree. Uh, the Souls games do it to like uh, the oomph degree, but uh, yeah. It's just a part of the game. Uh, Dark Clown Rising. Thank you for the 30 months. Thank you very much. If you beat the Scion and fall off the cliff, there's no you died screen. Uh, if the Scion gets you to no HP, you just, the screen goes black and you teleport. If you beat the Scion, you kill the Scion, then you jump off a cliff because you have to. That gives you a you died screen. So technically, uh, I'm, that's, you know, if you want to be really technical about a you died In the end, what's the difference? Where the hell did you even come from? These, these, this part isn't too scary, but there, this is kind of a nasty gank part where there's like five guys. Getting this next bonfire sucks too. The next grace over here. Real scary shit. Yeah, the lightning cast, guys. Yeah. I guess this is probably the most effective way to get there, right? Just make sure this guy doesn't wake up and come get me. Did I still aggro a bunch of them? Is any percent glitchless, deathless? Oh, the speed run? I don't know. I'm, I'm not really interested in what other people are doing. This is my own challenge. Other people can do whatever, whatever runs they want to. Speed runs, that's all well and good. I'm just doing my own thing. Like Barb, Hob, Lobos, and Discs, and you got everything these games have offered covered. Is dual wielding better? Uh, power stancing gives you a crazy, crazy amount of damage. Um, it's a lot of damage output. Keep leveling up endurance, I guess. Yeah, I don't, I'm not really interested in what other people are doing. I'm just doing my own thing. Um, this part is kind of scary with the platforming coming up. Dude, that's the somber. We don't need we don't need the somber. We just need the 10 for the banner. Oh. 
They run out of stamina there? Is that what that was? I didn't think I did. Ah, <laughs> hmm? uh, yeah, the gravity here is is fairly scary. It's it's kind of scary here. You're already stressing for you myself. Never played this game. Falling back there would yeah. I mean, falling back there would kill me. I mean, look look where I'm falling into, dude. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it would have killed me. Gravity is also scary in real life. I mean, not for me. I don't, unless you live like on top of a building or something. You just got through this fight. I mean, why would why would gravity be scary? It's not like I, I'm typically flying. Although now that you mention it, I am flying fairly soon to Minneapolis. Shit can fall on you. <sighs> a billionaire in Bangladesh has a mansion on top of a skyscraper. I saw that too. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, alrighty. I probably can't level up even if I use the giant soul, so I guess we're just going into this fight. Today's our race. Uh, Friday... Uh, do, what, what day is it? It's on Friday. Um, of GDQ. No. You hate going in skyscrapers? I haven't been, I haven't been in a tall building for a long time. You guys ever seen, like, the videos of Japan where, like, an earthquake happens and you can see, like, the, the building, like, wobbling? They're, like, designed to wobble. This shit's crazy. It's a FromSub game, so it punishes you hard. Really dislike flying between checking in the length of flight. It just fries me. I think a lot of people don't like, don't like it. Can you come watch? You can go to GDQ, yeah. I think they actually just raised the attendance cap, I think. So. Okay. Let's get in here. I think we're good to go. a lot of fireballs these assholes have thrown. There's a lot of fireballs this run for some reason. Look at this. Fucking shit gets so unfair. Holy shit. Give me a fucking. <laughs> My god, man.
All right. Boss defeated. Way more smooth than last time. Last time it was like literally an anxiety attack versus these two. This time it was like, all right. <laughs> It's like, um, it's like this fight is, uh, R is it's like, it feels kind of RNG where it's like, what is the other God skin doing? And that, that time it felt like they were constantly spamming me a little bit. It was like a really spammy attempt, but that's oh, all right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they were pretty aggressive. Uh, Roman Hero, thank you for the 14 months. Thank you, Roman Hero. Appreciate that. B. Bowman, thank you for the 32 months. Doggy Dolphy, thank you for 18 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Yeah, I was I was tickling them with the Morningstar last time, as opposed to these fucking nut crushers right here, man. These weapons are fucking holy shit. Uh, I think I can actually, you know what? Let's go back to the thing real quick, because I think I can upgrade the uh, thing some more. Cool shirt, thank you. How long is this run? Uh, let's see, we've been going for five, just under six hours on this run so far. Uh, I think Tasty Snacks will wait for a little while. He is not required for beating the game. The idea for me is beat the game and then do the optional stuff. Cause then I could like, even if I die, I'd be like, okay, well I beat the game. I just didn't do all bosses, you know? Then go back and do everything. So I think that makes sense, right? I got to go back to the thing and upgrade the thing. Yeah, any percent and then do all the optional shit, right? Do I have any anxiety thinking about the equestrian showing up? Uh, let's see. So we need four smithing stone sevens. Four sevens. And then we need 12 eights. 12 eights would be pretty hard to come by, right? We need nine. And expensive as fuck. Can't even afford anything. Did I ever use the, uh, hang on. You know, I never used, uh, what's it called? Pretty sure I never knocked this thing down. 12 pieces. They can't you just buy them? Get yeah, I'm buying the stones, right? But I'm, I'm, it's expensive, is what I'm saying. I don't have enough souls. So, are you a fan of MMX at all? But like Mega Man X, yeah, Mega Man X is super fun. I'm not a big Mega Man fan in general, though. Like, I don't like the games very much. I love Mega Man 2. I love Mega Man 2. barnacles you die to this thing you guys ever think about how like and how amazing would it have been if we had gotten like a mario 64 2 right like like mario 64 but like a sequel made by nintendo like how awesome that would have been right from for, for that or like think about like imagine if we got a mario odyssey 2 right like uh like not a, not necessarily a different physics engine, just Mario Odyssey 2 with like kind of the same physics, but just new levels, new moons, new areas, right? Mega Man, Mega Man is like the opposite problem where there's like nine games that are essentially like borderline the same physics. Mega Man is the opposite problem. <laughs> you guys with numbers, it's like the opposite issue with Mega Man. Mega Man, they just keep putting them out no matter what. Be like Galaxy, like they're still making, they're still making Mega Man games, like tiny little bells and whistles, but it's essentially the same fucking thing. So, you try Mario 64 Star Road. I've done some Mario 64 ROM hacks before. It's okay. It's fun. 
Well, I think that within those Mega Man games, there's going to be good and bad, but it essentially is like, you know, we're, we're talking about more or less the same thing a lot. Right, so I need one more eight. One more eight. What would you want from an Elden Ring DLC? Um, more bosses, more weapons, more areas. And I would want those bosses to be... I would want those bosses to be of a caliber consistent with like Orphan of Kos and Midir and Slave Knight and Sister Frida. Like I want those bosses to be like, like that. So more death birds. No, <laughs> a God skin riding a death bird. <laughs> okay. So now we need a uh, one ancient dragon smithing stone. There is the one inside the skull. I think we're, um, are there any others? And there's a somber here. I don't know where to get a somber 10, though. Forget where. The Godskin Quartet. 